Hey guys, welcome back to Quick Guide. In today's video, I'll show you how you can register online on Standard Chartered. To register for online banking is pretty simple and straightforward process. In order to do that, all you have to do is go to any browser on your desktop. Then on the search field, search for sc.com. And once you land onto an interface like this, you can see the online banking option at the top of the site here. Go and tap on it. By tapping on it, you can now choose a reason to get started with your registration process. Once you choose a reason, you will be directed to another page. In here, you need to go to the login tab and choose online banking login option from it. It then takes you to the login page of Standard Chartered. In order to register, go to the register now option and tap on it. Now you'll have to choose a card to get started with your registration process. You can either register with the ATM or debit card or your credit card without any tele-electronic identification number. So once you have made a choice, go and tap on next. Now by tapping on it, you land onto another page where you have to go to Terms and Condition and tap on I agree. Then go and tap on Accept. Then choose your language and below it, make a choice according to your account. Now choose an account you want to register with. You can either register with ATM debit card number or phone banking card number. If you choose to register with ATM or debit card, then you will have to put up the debit card number or ATM number. Then enter the ATM pin or debit card pin. And similarly, if you choose to log in with your phone banking card number, then you have to enter your phone banking card number and then type in your phone banking pin. Once you are done filling the details, go and tap on next. Now once you tap on next, you will land onto the verification page where you have to enter your mobile number. The bank sends one-time password to your mobile number. Verify it by entering your six-digit OTP and tap on next. Now on the next page, you'll have to set up a unique username for yourself and then set a password for your account. Once you are done, click on next. And now you can enter your registered username and password and click login to enter. And then you'll have successfully registered for your standard charter online banking. So this will be it for today guys. Thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to hit the like button if the video was helpful. Subscribe to the channel and stay updated for more videos like this. Bye bye.